Hello, you beautiful people. And James. Welcome back, everyone. And today we bring you another Jordan Peterson video. And this one is When the Woke Attack, Question Time, November 2021, BBC One, UK TV. <laughs> That's a title right there. It's like they're trying to sell some on eBay, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the description, is it? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a crazy uh, title. Well, I have long titles as well, but yeah. Anyways, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. All right, let's get into this. Destroy people. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I know a lot of people who have staggeringly successful careers, and they're often loath to go into a political field despite a tremendous the tremendous expertise they've developed because they have to put everything that they've already accomplished on hold or in hawk, in a sense, to enter the public sphere. And I think one of the conflict, I understand the conflict of interest problem, but one of the problems with that is that the most highly competent people in many fields are dissuaded from a political career because it's, it requires the unproductive sacrifice of everything they've built. And so what that does, in some sense, is deprive us of some of the best people who could be considering politics as a as a as a mode of public service and so that's that's a complicated problem to try to solve woman there in the green top hang on wait a minute let's just get the mic to you there you go why do we assume that such people are the best people they're obviously not well, because the best they've demonstrated the job. extreme competence in at least one area of that's inquiry. banking that's that that but so this is why we're in the situation where we are <laughs> with people like politicians that we have at the moment that are corrupt, there's no transparency, there's no accountability that you gain industry, and we don't even have it in our politics at the moment. But that's not because why of you this have attitude no, no. that what no. what is perceived as a good leader. No, and that's, that's not why you have that problem. Is. Most people who are successful in their given field aren't corrupt. It's very difficult to become successful and be corrupt. So I know people like to think that, but it's just not true. Corruption is good, it's acceptable. Look, three percent of the population is psychopathic. <laughs> hmm. You see that? Yeah. Really yeah, yeah. That. And the reason that it never goes above that is because it, because being psychopathic is not a very good strategy. And so the idea that people in power are corrupt by definition, especially if they've built up their stature and influence as a consequence of competence, is simply wrong. And so you do oh, want no. people Pause to demonstrate high level. I think people that's in high positions may have dabbled in some corruption you know most I, most probably a lot a lot of them as well i'll be surprised he can't, it, wait, <clears throat> hold on he can't say it and she can't say it that's yeah. what it is i'll be surprised if they made it to the top 100 percent clean to be honest mm. you gotta get is, you gotta get your hands dirty and obviously there's well there's obviously not being corrupt but they're just most of them are just scumbags because, like yeah. in Britain, I don't. Like, they use taxpayers' money to have like second homes and pay for all this stuff to travel. It's like, no, if you're like the MP of an area, live in that area. Stop living in London and all then right. transmuting. Like, you know what I mean? But that's taxpayers' yeah. money. Yeah. That's just dirty. Yeah, I and, think I know what's going on. Mm. See, they are they are using this word "corrupt" as the definition of. But corrupt. it's wrong. They're using the wrong word. But they're using "corrupt" for a reason because they can't. And they won't use any other word. That's why they're using this word corrupt, because what you said is more accurate than then yeah. using the word corrupt. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. corrupt. They're just <clears throat> scumbags, really. That's why, that's yeah, why they're yeah, not saying yeah. that. It, yeah. Because it's easy to say corrupt and then say, oh, they're scumbags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you have to, oh, why people. are they scumbags? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you bad people, know. you know. Yeah, yeah. That's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's corrupt. You're onto something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're onto something. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are consequence of competence is simply wrong. And so you do want people who've demonstrated high levels of competence in at least one other field to serve as potential political candidates. What else would you use as a criteria for their ability? Mm. So why is what that else 3 do you have? percent elevated as our leaders? Why is that 3% elevated as our leaders? <laughs> They're not. They aren't. That's wrong. And to, sp and to think that way is, is counterproductively cynical. It's, it's absolutely the case that institutions have a proclivity towards corruption under some circumstances. That's true of all institutions. But to blindly yeah. assume that that's more characteristic, let's say, of your political leaders than, pe than it is of you, for example, as a person, or that it's more specifically characteristic of political leaders than people who are operating at the highest level of their capacity in other areas. It's just, it's an empty sort of cynicism.
It doesn't serve people well, and it's not true of reasonable governments or countries. Well, it's simply not true. Just, just very. Let's take another question. Putting it that from way. From Julian. Julian. Mm. Yeah, because there's the no way, like, crickets as in, like, obviously, I don't know, America, Britain, Canada, that there's no way a corrupt leader can get to the top because they'll be found out and shunning because there's freedom of press and stuff. Yes. The press would yeah, love um, that. They destroy them. Yeah, they they love. They love to dig into the past, my oh, guy. Everything. Ultimate stalker. Like, they'll bring up stuff that you did in elementary if yeah, they if yeah, if yeah. it was recorded or documented. So we go back to this. <laughs> it's not a corruption. It's just an, an individual action. What yeah, makes yeah. them look a certain way? Now the corruption comes from the bigger scope. So calling someone an individual is corrupted is wrong but like like uh Jordan peterson said it's the the company right what he said yeah 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 the, yeah the corporation the organization something like that yeah 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 it, it, yeah, it is cor corporations that do corrupt people because there's like oh here's some money for this law yeah and like how do you think they get all the all the money that they get is because corporations and pharmaceutical companies now obviously give the money for their campaign NBA. just so long as certain loopholes are available for taxes and stuff like that you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. and they think that like the common people don't know this <laughs> with the revelations from crickets azim rafiq and footballers still taking the knee what does this say about racism as a continuing undercurrent in present day britain nazir the brown person will answer first. Yeah. Here we go. That's it. So do you think that was wrong of me to come to I, Pause, I pause. What? I don't think I, this is the time I, to say I, that. No, no, that was forced racism. No, I think what, well, that's the... That was forced racism. He didn't have to say that. He didn't have to say that. That was forced racism. He, yeah. Hey, uh, so I uh, know, I know, American footballers took took a knee. Uh, did 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 uh, yeah, English footballers yeah. take a knee also? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The, the national team still do it, but um, still, yeah. The Premier League Daddy. players have stopped doing it now. They stopped, They still did it last season, but they uh, they haven't done it this season. Well, remember, bro, what what um, Bulldog said over there where he's at. They actually believe in the BLM over here. We use it for what? The money. Mm. In Britain, they um, it was. Like that's why players did it for ages and still. But then eventually it changed from Black Lives Matter to uh, a, ca a campaign called Kick It Out for the footballers because that was the racism mm -hmm. campaign that's always been there. Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter just came and just shouted for a bit and took loads of money and then left. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Just, uh, that just was weird that he said that. Yeah. He, well, he's he, gonna he, he well, he's gonna say yeah. it again. He's gonna say it again. Here we go. That's it. So do you think that was wrong of me to come to you? For I, th I think so. I think. What, well, let's not do it then, Jordan. Why? Just... Oh. <laughs> Nazir. The brown person will answer first. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no disrespect. Nazir, oh, so do you think that was wrong of me to come to you for it? I think so. I think what, well, what let's think? not do it then, Jordan. Here we go. I don't, yep. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not being sarcastic. She handled I mean, that good. If, if that's how you feel, I respect I, I that. Let's go to Jordan. Well, well, that's a fair point. I'll come to Jordan. Oh, sensitive. The point I made earlier told you. Is that to lead, things need to be particularized rather than generalized as, as a general rule, let's say. And so this cricket player was facing racism by his own account. The question is, who, when, what, exactly? Because otherwise it degenerates into something like a discussion of structural racism. And when it becomes abstracted up to that level, first of all, that pits group against group, which I think is entirely counterproductive. And it actually doesn't address the issue. You know. Racism group group. is a is a global and vague term. Sorry, but what, why do you what, put why, it? Why did why would you possibly do that? What did that yeah. mean? Because I said it was a global and vague no, no, the, term. No, no, the inverted commas is that it's not a real thing. What did? No, the, that isn't what it meant. Well, what did it mean then? Explain. It meant that <laughs> He's it on the air quotes. Indicative of low resolution thinking. And these, what, what, and what I mean by that? that is, we use all these terms frequently in discussions like this that are. He, he was containers of, 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 of undifferentiated he content. He was repeatedly called abusive terms directly linked to his ethnicity. By who? By not just one, but repeated Pause. members of the Yorkshire. Frequently in discussions like this that are 
he was containers of, of, di of, of undifferentiated he content. He was repeatedly called abusive terms directly linked to his ethnicity. By who? By not just one, but repeated members of the Yorkshire Cricket Club. He's okay, had people well then, contacted then, him. Then if then it walks like a tuck, duck, Jordan, then it talks no, like a duck. Not it's not, a duck. I, it's I, racism. I am not denying <laughs> Shut what up. I asked was exactly who and when, and you just answered that yeah. question. So I would say those specific people should be held specifically to account yeah. for their actions before any movement up the abstraction hierarchy to a discussion of something like structural racism, which well, I don't think is helpful. Well, he has talked about institutional racism in yeah. cricket. Mm -hmm. He says that's what he's experienced as a term, institutional racism. Right, I know, I know. And I, like I said, I, I believe that abstracting up the problem to that level of analysis does no good because it pits groups against groups. I think it exacerbates yeah. the problem. The concept it's of structural necessary. racism. It's too imprecise. It doesn't Pause address it. the issue. Why is that guy the only one that upset? And he's the <laughs> whitest one out of all of them. <laughs> well, because like, why is he so upset? If he doesn't show his anger, he's racist. Exactly. That's exactly what I was trying to point at. What do you like, think, Murdoch? Who do you have to be to draw so much attention to yourself by saying, hey, I'm me and I'm being targeted as racism and now he's being talked about? Who is this guy? This cricket player? Is he next president? Um, no, he's like a professional cricket player for a British uh, cricket club. And then from, from what I said, and the thing is, though, they're saying racism, but what was said? Was it a joke? Was it vindictive at him like like there's so many like I people even, like I, that guy took offense yeah to her pointing to him first saying brown so he tried to make her seem racist that's yeah. i think what, what's going on right now the issues at, at the end yeah. of the day man it's just like are we too sensitive yeah just chill out man stop getting offended by everything get some thick skin anyways at the end of the, 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 the end of it all bulldog mm. said Thick skin, like we used to have. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we getting too sensitive? Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and jump back into this. Structural racism. Yeah, about to cry. It's too imprecise. It doesn't address the issue. Now, that doesn't mean that does not mean racism does not exist. That is not what maybe, I'm saying in the least. Maybe let's do less of the hand movements and less of the oh, evidence. Shut up. The evidence With your terrible jokes, man. She's just trying to make him look bad. And all of us have a challenge oh, to ask no. ourselves whether we are normalising forms of racism. And actually, I think that's what Nazir called you I to need... account to about Fiona tonight, yeah. was to say we normalise the idea. She's trying to rally. He's, still, he's, he's crying. First. Yeah. And she's trying to rally. Yeah, yeah. I also tried to get everyone on the panel first as well. I'm sure they get they everyone has but a go the first but question. But when we talk about that what you did was racist. I don't believe that. But we're I think what you did was a mark of respect. And now that may have been inappropriate yeah. and it may have been taken okay. wrong, but that doesn't mean it was racist. But he's ups he's upset down there. Right. Yeah. Structural racism. And we have a problem in British society. We have a problem particularly Why is it always white when it people as well that are saying it? It's just like How do you know? You you you're not black, you're not brown. How do you know there's racism there? Mm, mm, okay. Like, like, like they're so com they're so confident with it as well. If it was a black person said, it, I'd be more like much happy to believe them. But it's white people always, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, the white white people are the face to uh, black racism. racism. They're the but they're also the ones that are the racist as well. It's weird. It's, it is weird. It's, it's weird how you have all the faces to these 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 people taking a stand. But they're never the people who's actually experiencing the racism. Yeah. Unless yeah. they are, but you know, you know. Just, yeah. Yeah, because it, it oh. can go the other way as well. It's not. It's not only white versus the colored. It could also be the other way, but we don't know. We don't know. Well, yeah, but no one cares if people are racist to white people at all. Like no one gives a shit. Like you see, people always calling out white. Oh, I hate all white people. Imagine a white person said that about blacks or Mexicans or something. Jesus Christ, there'd be it, outcry. Another city would burn. Yeah, it would. Yeah, but it's all right yeah. to be racist against white people. I generally don't give a fuck though. Yeah. I think it's funny when people call me whitey. Yeah. Oh, they still <laughs> they snowflake. call you, they call you that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I Go to a different pub. At the end of the day, <laughs> you know, it it does depend on how proud you are with yourself. Yeah, you got to be comfortable who you are. So that yeah, way, like, so that way, no matter who says what to you or who or what says who to you, it doesn't bother you because you're comfortable with who you are.
That's where the thick skin comes into it. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's, we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Really oh, okay, okay. Sport. And we also have a problem when it comes to our definitions of racism because people tend to lump people of different minority community backgrounds together. You know, how do you of course. Of structural racism? I'm going to need, need, need to bring, need to bring up finish, people in as well. Finish. But the thing for me that I think is so powerful is this concept of the bystander, is the idea of the person who may think of themselves not as a racist, who may not have joined in in this poor young oh. man being bullied in the way that he was. I, mean, is I need to mention nothing. Stella simply because he has talked about it himself today, as Ian Rafiq, that he has apologised for yeah. anti-Semitic tweets that he was about about so And what, what I think is very really powerful is how clear and, and compelling his apology is and how he's yeah. recognised it. Look, goofy. He didn't even get a chance to talk because he, no. he was crying. <laughs> he, didn't even, he, didn't, he missed his whole entire opportunity to talk in this video. And I wanted to see what he wanted. He had to say. I wanted to see what he had to say because he was the only brown person on the panel. He had shit to say. That's what it is. And that's why she chose him because, because it don't bother him. That's what it is. It don't bother him. Wow. And the thing, at the end of the day, the she chose him because they were about to talk about racism and he was the only, like, Colored person on the panel, so obviously you're going to go to that person first because it's about he's racism, more, and he's more likely to have experienced uh, yeah. it. So nah, he could, man, she went to that panel because he was on that side, and she wanted to start kind of bro. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Hey, hey, yeah, you know could what? Have hey, been as hey, well, man. Could sub, have been. Subconsciously, you always start from the right, my guy. Th that's exactly why she did that. She didn't. She didn't care about his skin color. He ain't even black. Yeah, but brown is still black.